Hello there and welcome back to Build with the Boys. Um, I've still got COVID, <laughs> but this is my first one back from uh, from it being as bad as it was. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I don't mind telling you, it, it kicked my ass, it really did, but I want to build. Um, I'm feeling a lot better than I did, and I want to build. And I have bought uh, the Roker Swing Ride, and it comes with very lovely packaging. It's got this carnival packaging going on. Um, now this is quite a unique one for Roker because this is not a clockwork model, which is unusual because everything they've done like this up to this point has been clockwork. And I gotta be honest, um, that's a large part of the appeal to me. I like clockwork. Um, I like the, the, just everything about the intricacies of that. Um, this is not, this is more an electric driven um, model. Um, and I've seen that with, with a full power batteries this thing's a little bit too lively so we're going to try and uh we're going to try and restrict it as well um and again the music on this one's different so all the other ones have got mechanical music boxes whereas this one's more electronic music um so i don't know i don't know how i'm going to feel about this one this is the first one in the magic amusement park range there is another one uh that's just literally just launched um the parachute drop tower which is exactly what it sounds like. So it's an amusement one. It's the same color scheme as this one. It's the same sort of style, but the little parachute cars drop, go up to the top, drop down in sequence. There are another two coming in this range. So I know that they have also got a drop tower coming. So a drop tower ride similar to um, any drop tower ride you've seen, basically. But they've not released images of it yet, but it's a drop tower ride. And they've also got Tilt a Whirl coming. Now, uh, my American friends will know what a Tilt a Whirl is. My British chums will not know what a uh, Tilt a Whirl is, maybe. Um, the closest thing we have to a Tilt a Whirl is the Waltzers. Um, very similar. Very similar thing. So one of those is coming as well. So there, there are two more models in this set um, after the parachute drop. So at some point, I will do all of them. Um, but let's get this one open. Let's get this one open. Let's get into it. I have no idea how long this one's going to take. I've no idea what the, um, the structure is going to be like, because again, this is uncharted territory. This is a new design for them and it's a step forwards and let's see if it's a good step or a bad step. So here's everything we get inside the box. Now this already feels different. This feels like a, a Roka model. So here are all our, uh, our boards, all our wooden components or, or laser cut out there. That feels very broker um as does this there's our wax um however this section does not feel very roker at all um there is a lot of circuitry here speakers wires uh got electric motors battery boxes screws there is a lot of screws in this one again this is very unusual for a for a roker model it feels this feels different um i wouldn't say that's necessarily a bad thing um but let's get into it. Let's get into it and see how this goes. Because, I mean, again, normally we start any Roker model fitting the um, the music box to a base. Clearly, we're not going to be doing that. So it's going to be interesting to see how this one goes. Okay, so here are all the parts we need to start the assembly. This is going to assemble the base. I can already see the battery box is going to fit inside there. Um, these parts are going to sit around here. I'm going to hold them in place with dowels, and then we're also going to screw them in place. So we are literally just assembling a rim around here by lining up these these pieces like so. So those are going to be around the base. So let's get that done. We'll take a look. Okay, so we've put our base together. I've added a few more elements to it as well. I didn't film myself doing. It. I mean, because it was simple. We screwed the battery box onto here. We've locked the speaker in place here, and we've got this push switch here. Um, <clears throat> And that's it. That's quite simple. But I mean, we can already test it. You can see the music working. This is just a, a, a touch panel. Simple. Um... So that's the base panel done for now. We are moving on to this part, which I've started building again. I've took the main drive motor and we've just screwed it to these two pieces here. That's it. We've added these two um, plastic gears and um, we're going to start building up on this now. Uh, so I'm going to get that done and um, we'll, we'll take a look at how this is, how this uh, is turning out. 
Okay, so our base is pretty much complete now. We've got a lot of electrics have gone into this thing. So I've got a strip of lights, I've got two different motors, I've got a speaker in here, I've got a touch button, I've got there's a lot of electrics have gone into um have gone into this. A hell of a lot. Um Yeah. I don't know, it's it's a strange one because it's um it feels like a rocker kit, but it's clearly very different. I don't know if that's a good thing or not yet. Anyway, we're going to start moving, working on the uh, the central beam now. So we've made a lot of progress on this. We've built, built this uh, central beam, which is going to hold the, uh, the carousel. Um, we've added an LED strip. No idea where that's going. Um, that's plugged into this uh, circular PCB here. Um, We've made this central beam as well with the mirrors in. It's quite lovely. Um, that's going to slot over there and down into there. We need to make a base now for this to sit on. The base is quite solid and we're going to screw that together. So we're going to make quite a large base, which should sit in where those gears are, which is ultimately going to rotate that. But um, it's coming on quite well. I mean, again, I am concerned the amount of electrics in it. The more electrics there are, the more room there is for something to go wrong with it. But um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, so we're going to build this base, uh, for this, uh, for this to attach to. It is very solid, so I'm going to get that done, we'll take a look. We've made a lot of progress. Uh, we've made this central beam, which is now in place. We've got the chairs hanging, uh, from the, uh, the top piece here. We've threaded the light all the way through, and we've also threaded the LED strip around the top. Uh, all we really need to do now is make the, um, make the top for this and it's quite pretty the top um so we're gonna get that done and then we'll pretty much be finished okay so that is pretty much built the only thing i have to do is turn it on now i haven't turned it on yet so if it ain't gonna work you're gonna see when i see that it don't work uh i hope it does <laughs> but um apparently it's one touch and we go Well, it works. Apparently, if we touch it a second time, it turns the music off. There we go. So you can have it spinning without the music. Which would be nice if you've got a collection of these. You don't want them all, all the music clashing with each other. Um, so that's quite nice. Then we press and hold, it should stop. Perfect. So press once, it'll turn on with music. Second time, it'll turn off. Apparently, if we press again now... You can see the lights chasing around in here. If we press again now, it should start playing the music again. There we go. Very happy with that. So that's that one complete. Um, I like it. I like the swing ride. It is wildly different to the other builds that Rogue could do. You can still see it's Rogue. It's got all of the kind of hallmarks of it. But with the electronics, that adds another element to it. Now, I get it. I'm a sucker for the um, the old clockwork um, wind-up music boxes. But the one thing I will give this is, with the other ones, even on a full wind, so if I wind up as much as I go, it's going to run for a maximum of two, maybe three minutes. That's it. This, you could turn this on and leave it. This will go for as long as your battery's alive, you know. It would just keep going. And you can kill the music, which means you can have it running without the music. That's a good thing, because, again, if there are going to be four of these, you can have all of these running without music fighting against each other. You can just have these running. You can have one playing the music, and they're all going in sync, um, which is quite nice. It's a very unique build. Um, again, there are certain parts. I mean, there's a whole deck of lights that you don't plug in, which I find unusual, but it works from a, a thimble motor which basically just powers that, puts puts the electricity into it to power the lights at the top, which again is clever. Um, the way the lights all lined up around it was beautiful. It, it's turned out really well. I'm I'm very impressed by it, and I really like it. Uh, I recommend it. If, if you can pick one up, pick one up. I got this from Amazon. I got it um, on 10% off as well. Uh, so I paid less than 40 quid for this. I wouldn't pay more than that for it. Um, Parachute Tower is available um, from... Roker or Robot Time's uh, website direct, um, or if you're going to wait for Amazon, you're going to be waiting about three months, so it's, it's, it's available on Amazon. Um, but go for it. If you've not built one of these, go for it. This is complicated. It's not easy. This is as 
as the Roku models go, I'd say this is a complicated one. Don't let this be your first one. Don't let this be your first one. Um, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. And um, I will be getting the other one. So I will be going par Parachute Tower when it's available. It's not going to be for ages yet. It's going to be a couple of months before I can get my hands on the Parachute Tower at least. Um, but maybe in time for Christmas. Who knows? I hope so. Um, I am going to be looking to get the other uh, book nooks, uh, the Roll Off book nooks. Um, that's the Secure Blossoms one and Sunshine Town. So those will be coming up on the site. We have got all of our partwork models. So we've got more Titanic coming up. We've got Disney Dolls House, the Iron Man, uh, the Agora Classic Root Master, um, and R2-D2. All of those are coming up. So we've, we've got packs of all of those are going to be in the next week. Um, so swing by for that. If you haven't yet, please hit the like button. And, and if you're one of the thousands that watch us but haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. We'd just love to have you along for the ride. See all the weird, wonderful and wacky things that we build. If you want to contact us, you can contact us at buildwiththeboys at outlook.com. We'd love to hear from you. Um, no stupid questions. Uh, we'd also like to see your works. If you're working on something or, or you've got modifications or something you'd like to show us, show us. We'd love to see it. We really would. Um, that's it from me in a world where you can be anything at all. Just be nice and I will catch you on the next one.